Guys, what you're about to hear is something very special. This week, we're going to release one of our bonus episodes that we do every single week for subscribers on TMGstudios.tv. We're going to release it here for free for you to watch. Now, let me be clear. This is a very rare occurrence. We will not be doing this again. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Probably not. Uh, as you all know, in the Bone Zone, we really kind of get wacky, get loose, get wild, and we're going to... We're going to let you into a little little peek of that just just this week. And keep in mind if this if you like this one, you can find all 180 previous bonus episodes. Yes. On tmgstudios.tv. Uh you can do that. You can sign up right now and watch all of them. So yep. uh enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. Enjoy your sample of the Bone Zone. The Bone Zone. Enjoy. Hey, 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 welcome to the bonus episode, everyone, welcome to the bonus <laughs> mm. you know what, I kind of want some fruit snacks, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they're not appearing, <laughs> <laughs> everyone is going to watch this and go, what have we done to these boys? <laughs> Remember when they were just little computer programmers and they were cute and now they got people getting shit for them? Disgusting. Take it all away. Napkin, please. <laughs> Someone bring me their hands <laughs> to fart into. <laughs> oh, you got two? Ow! I only got one. Why did you give him two packs? <laughs> Oh I'll, no, it's cool. I'll remember that. It's all good. <laughs> we just, we just are now. Um, it's always our birthday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always our birthday. <laughs> We're always the most important people at all times. That's the problem with fucking this business. You get to a point, and everyone convinces you it's your birthday all the time. All the time. What do you want? Yeah. What do you want? And you start going out in the world and being like, things take time. <laughs> yeah. And everyone's like, yeah, because it's not your fucking birthday. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Except it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's when you're Leonardo, dude. Yeah. Except it is it my is. birthday. It is. It's always my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of, someone I know, again. Okay. Ah, uh, coincidence. I don't want to name drop, but someone, someone I, I know who only fucks 25-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Someone I know lived right across from Leo. Oh. He was like, but our old apartment was kind of crazy. It's like it's like a U shaped building and there's two penthouses and we had one and the other side was Leo's. So we just saw right into Leo's apartment. And he's like, sometimes we would just pull up our chairs and just watch him. <laughs> like, that's fucking weird, but I probably would do the same thing. Just watch him fuck? No, he was like he watches so much TV. Oh. Never seen someone watch that much TV. Oh. And then he's like, and then one of the last days, some like naked twenty-five-year-old was running around, like pissed at him. So she was running around like naked on per on on purpose. Oh, to like get back at him because she's oh. pissing him. Yeah, I don't know. He was telling me this. Take it with a grain of salt. It's crazy. It's kind of crazy, right? I thought it was kind of crazy that he watches like a lot of TV. Which I, I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Right. You're not, you're not leaving your house, really. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? That's true, actually. There you is can't that part go of anywhere. It. Yeah, a fool cannot go anywhere. Yeah, that shit sucks. Yeah, what we got is dope. Yeah, go somewhere and there's the like occasional kind of drunk person, and they're like, "Yo, yeah, yeah." You're like, "Hey, yeah." Sorry. Ow, fever, fever. <laughs> and they're like, "You have a fever?" <laughs> yeah. And you're like, "Yeah, nah, man." To be that, but I guess what I'm saying is like. I guess when you're that successful, it's like whatever you do, whatever the fuck makes you happy. Yeah. But I think there's certain people like, for example, Ryan Reynolds, mm. like that dude is like the polar opposite of lazy. Yeah. And he's now a billionaire because of it. He's like, 
like he bought Mint Mobile for some yeah. reason, and that that just got acquired. He's gonna make five hundred million bucks. Mm-hmm. He did Aviation Gin, and now did you see the sh- whole shit with Rexel? Rexum? Mm-hmm. They just got promoted. What's that? Yeah. So can you explain that? Do you know the deal? No, I mean just him and Rob McElhenney bought that team. But I'm I'm more I saying like wasn't like that good, and now like they for the first time like ever in however many years are like promoted into the yeah and they made a i mean they made a tv show out of it obviously welcome to wrexham is a soccer team yeah Yeah, it's a soccer team in (sighs) In, england it's uh, yeah yeah it's kind of by uh, real sports here guys (laughs) (laughs) the the, the show is actually really good like on hulu it's uh isn't it like a like a mockumentary no it's a Mm -mm. documentary oh it is about the city or about the team about the city and the team and them buying the sports, um, the team, and then, like, the improvements they had to make, hiring players, coaches, all this kind of stuff. And then at the, a good team. the whole point is they try to get promoted to the next league up, but you can only get promoted if you win your league. And they haven't mm. been, like, how And it just happened, happened for the first time. Wow. Like two days ago, so I think this – I think it was also something – correct me if I'm wrong because I haven't seen this, but it's also something where they're not from here. So for these two Hollywood celebrities to come in and buy the team, they were outsiders. People were like, who the fuck are these? Like, yeah, big wigs, this money coming in, trying to like change the dynamic of this team that represents our city. And now they finally won and they got upgraded or whatever. Like the, t- like the team was like chanting their names. It's like they were Ted there Lasso. for the final game. What? It's just real life Ted Lasso. Like, yeah. yeah, it's, it's like fucking cool. <laughs> that is sick. So it's like you could, you know, you could go both ways with your A-list Stats. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it doesn't always have to be your birthday. You can make it other people's birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Which is cool. Yeah, yeah. It's cool when you leverage your birthday party to make it other people's birthday. Yeah, party. yeah, exactly. But it's still their birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, don't forget, the cake is there because it was originally my birthday. And also, the people who are gonna benefit the most from this is them. Is the yeah the original birthday? Yeah. But hey, you get to have a birthday too. Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> and everyone knows it was so nice of you. Yeah, 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 exactly. Everyone sure. knows how nice it was. I gave you a little birthday. How about that? <laughs> huh? Snacks. <laughs> JK, JK. I I bought a little piece of a pickleball team. Oh, yeah, really? Miami pickleball. How much? How much did I how much did it cost? Uh yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to say that. It's kind of a crazy question. How much of the team did I buy? You're always asking people net worth and shit up. No, I'm not. You're like, what if I ever said that, market. What well, market? You're like, well, what, what kind of revenue are they doing? Yeah, but that's for that's for a company. That's fair. All right, you're a company. I don't think I bought. I mean, I don't. I don't think you're a brand, dude. Yeah. <laughs> how much is the brand Cody Co? You would bleep it out. How much you pay for your pickleball? Oh, I find six million dollars. No, okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Seventeen million. <laughs> yeah. It's just a cool. Um, I'm not going to say, but I mean, it was in the thousands of dollars. That's yeah. That's wasn't anything crazy. Yeah. Not like them. They like bought, I mean, how much did they spend on this team? 2.5 million. That's it. Really? (laughs) On the whole, on the whole team. Mm -hmm. They were bad, I guess. Drop in the hat, dude. That's pretty crazy. Who convinced you to buy a pickleball team? The fact that it's a sick sport probably. Yeah. It's the fastest growing sport in America. I'm pretty sure. And the team is owned by like Nick Kyrgios and um, a bunch of other like celebrity investors. Are they good? I don't know. Their merch looks sick. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! You know Their what? Merch I'm gonna, looks sick. I'm gonna find the unsung heroes of pickleball. You know, I think it really matters. Are they good? What do you mean? I mean, in a sport that's like this new and this kind of like quickly growing, you kind of just want to get in on the ground floor if it. If it who put you on? Uh, the guys that live in Miami, like Steven and nice and cameo guys. It's not even that new. It's just pickleball. Yeah. I think the league is. Oh. <laughs> but like any, like if you were if you were to own, own any NBA team, like near the beginning, like that would have made you money. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> what? You just compared pickleball to NBA. Not that, and yeah, you I laugh mean, now, pickleball. Ryan. Wait forty fucking years, dude. You don't think wait this a hundred big as NBA? No, years. absolutely. Why not? Why not? It's sick. It's not even gonna be as big as tennis. It's so fun. It's a game. It's a game. Oh, here we. You go. You know how fucking stupid golf is. Yeah. Also a game. And the biggest. What do you mean? It's huge. Golf is fucking. Look up what's like. 
the the uh, I know I'd be remiss if I didn't point out the best pickleball podcast on the internet right now, <laughs> which is Pissed and Pickled. <laughs> Wait, what? Hosted by none other than Hunter's mother. <laughs> Wait, is this Wait, real? Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Pissed and Pickled. Look it up. Did she play? Her and her um, co-host they play, and they do a podcast about pickleball. Oh yeah, Missy. Oh my god, I love this. Let's get her co-host name as well. <clears throat> Missy and Lori. What did did they only talk about pickleball? Yeah, it's their thing. See, this is what I mean. People love this shit, Ryan. Yeah, that's great. I love that. I've met Missy. Oh, oh, and actually, this reminds me, Ryan. I'm gonna send you her email right now. They need to go on foul tip. See, look at this logo. There's Isn't a, that cool? Yeah. Miami Pickle mentioned. Club. And actually, they have their own studio. And we should send the boys out to them. Okay. To Missy and Lori. The boys? We're going to send Zach and Waleed to Missy and Lori. Oh, yeah. Wait, play play some of the episode. Sure. Hunter is going to be... Actually, he doesn't care anymore. Oh, it's like produced. Oh, yes. Who does it? Them. Who does their show? They produce it? We are getting pissed and pickled a little bit about pickleball. Uh, as you can see, our court in the backyard there. No they have right a court, now. too? Lori has a yeah. court a at her new place. Holy well. shit. It's yeah. Topics and all kind of stuff. They have a v- video so version? Time, they have like a YouTube the version? Show, we thought, hey, why don't well, you we may have that. that. You want us to yeah. talk about? We may have to <laughs> sign them to the league, you know? <clears throat> Let's sign them to our network. We may have to sign them to the league, dude. Look, Look at that court! Yeah. Back in the 80s. You're Ryan, you're crazy if you think this is not gonna be as big as NBA. We got people building courts in their backyard. You know doing hey, podcasts hey. about it already. No, 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 stop this, stop this. Everyone shut the fuck up right now. It's my birthday. <laughs> um, no. Two things here. One. Why doesn't Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> nice, Ovi. Nice. Nice. This is your Wednesday cake, right? A chew. <laughs> this is our Wednesday A birthday chew. cake. Candles? Why don't we take... Out last week. How many teams are in this league? Can TMG sponsor a team? <clears throat> uh, Yeah, I'm sure we could. Yeah. Why don't we get in on a team? Pissed and pickled. They become an exclusive an exclusive reporter on one of these teams. They do a five-minute segment every week. America's fastest-growing sport in 2023 is pickleball. I think they said that about Bitcoin, too. <laughs> Which, by the way, is up 10%. Yeah, less. I know. I know. It's Day. back. It's back. It's fucking back, baby. Yeah. In a big way. Yeah, you're hoping. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, my portfolio is finally in the black again. Oh, so you've made a After little... After... Like, I mean, I first bought Bitcoin. What, how many years have we been fucking talking about this? Too long. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah, all of them. It's true. There are currently 36.5 million pickleball players. Ryan. How many people play basketball in the world? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, I'm kind of kidding. I don't think it's going to be as big as the NBA, but... But it is Like it is going to be big. It is going to be big, yeah. Like, tennis, golf, all these random games that became people's lives people are obsessed with pickleball i guess it's, it like it's, defines old people's lives it's more because viewership it's, though like you have to be able to get people to watch it like like a lot of people dive right but how many people are sitting down to watch the diving yeah but how is this any different hey, man, from hey tennis hey i'm gonna go ahead and buy a shovel and <laughs> yeah, yeah, dig yeah. up your grave right there <laughs> i do believe ryan has just fucking <laughs> buried you I do believe Ryan has just carved out a space in the earth for you, just a little bit. I don't bit. think he did. He just named an Olympic sport. <laughs> no, but it was just the way. No, he but said I it. also know that. I, I never, I never thought diving was going to be tried. Ooh, like there was a pickleball. Thing. Ooh, pickleball slam averages six hundred seventy thousand viewers. Suck on that, ninja. That's crazy. That's fucking huge. I watched the CBS where all the celebrities played pickleball. On CBS, like a couple months ago, it was not great. It was just like, look up how many people tune into F1 every weekend. F1's pretty niche. Yeah, yeah. It's a big niche. It's just like all of Europe or whatever, but they don't count. Also, by the way, I think 
a good 1.54 billion average. <laughs> 70 mi- dude, that's insane. 70 million people watch that shit every fucking weekend. Losers, man. But I think also a good litmus what? test for something like this at a a game that people actually watch is have you played it? Because if you have, you know it's instantly addicting. So it's I like it, so I haven't played it. It is. It's it's like just you just want to play more. So that to me is that combined with the fact that it's growing so fast makes me think that like I like watching golf because I play it, I know how fucking hard it is. Yeah. So that to me is kind of like pickleball. But then again, there are tons of sports like ping pong that I feel the same way about that don't get a lot of viewership. So I mean, maybe we go all in on a pickleball podcast. Bro, why don't we get a pickleball team, but we have to draft two athletic motherfuckers. Yeah, okay. Like former D1 co- like tennis players that didn't quite go pro in tennis. And they're like, this sounds kind of stupid. And we say, the, all of our subscribers here are going to pay you a crazy-ass salary to go through and clean up yeah. and dominate the league. So we would be like Brad Pitt in hardball or moneyball or whatever. Yeah. No, we'd be like the fucking, You know what I mean? We want to be the Yankees of Yeah. of pickleball. Like we come in, we change the game. Yeah. Because we recruit differently. We got the money we're the money guys. Yeah. <laughs> TMG, <laughs> the money guys. Yeah. And we leverage all of our years of content creation to to uh develop the most insane pickleball duo. And you know what's crazy about our pickleball team? We have a third yeah. We have a backup. Yeah, yeah, okay. So if one of our guys gets injured because he's playing so goddamn fucking hard, they're like, how, how are we supposed to compete with that? I like, think that's probably pretty standard. <laughs> then we have a bigger bench. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a, we have a third string. How yeah, about yeah. that? Okay, yeah. I guess we should do Cody and Noel do pickleball. That's we should. Fun. We should do that. Now you're talking. Yeah. We, we should do Cody that. Noel do pickleball. And I'll make the whole thing a plug for the Miami Pickle Club. <laughs> Dude. Fly you to Miami. We can go to Miami. Can go to and, Miami, yeah. Yeah. Do it with the team. Yeah. That's and we, true. And we bring Missy and Lori to commentate our game. Yeah. And then Hunter's in the background like... <laughs> <laughs> no! The pickleball craze is real, but its TV potential is a different story. <laughs> Media... <laughs> Wait. They're talking about us. Media executives. Oh. Oh. Everyone shut up. And pickleball stakeholders share the challenges that's ahead me. as the growing sport now. That's that's me. Both of those are me. <laughs> media executives. I'm listening. Growing sport now aims to become a sustainable media and streaming product. Ryan Fawcett of TMG Studios thinks it will not. Whoa, that's Ryan crazy. Fawcett on paper wrote this sport is going fucking. Ryan nowhere. Fawcett, formerly of TMG Studios. <laughs> Uh, aggressively <laughs> slandered the Miami pickleball team, <laughs> stating, this is the dumbest sport I've seen in my entire media career, and it's going nowhere. Followed by many slurs. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, people. Ryan's a slur guy. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> the records show I am not. I am a minority myself. He's a slur guy. You're half Asian. It's true. We know how Cody feels about Asians. <laughs> if you're wondering what that reference was, folks, it's a little a bit of a jog. A few weeks ago, you remember the remember Cody stating that he does not mess with Asian slot machines. <laughs> That's what we're referring to. Yeah. So, all right, dude. And by st- the way, I do. Yeah. No, I don't. But it's not because I don't like Asian slot machines. Here we go. Yep, yep. This is good practice. It's because I like I, I stick to farm themes. I and stick I to stick what I know. American yes. farm themes. American white <laughs> <Yeah>. characters <laughs> on a slot machine. How it should be? No, it's just about the juju. That's it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was gonna say Kanye doesn't really. Uh, tired bit. Tired bit. That was bad. That was bad. That was stupid. Aquatic themed, farm themed. Anything water, anything ocean based. Yeah. Love it. Anything, anything. pig based, <laughs> farm, farm animal animals. Based. Love it. <laughs> Cody Good energy. sees himself in the pigs. <laughs> yeah, I do. The rich little piggies. Yeah. Little oinkers. Yeah. Yo, when those things get when those things get thick, 
when they get full of coins, cash don't even play. You know you what I'm wanna, talking about. Oh, you you, you've seen them. it. No, yeah, look up Rich Little oh, Piggies yeah, on much, Google. How much money do you think you've lost by now since that was weeks ago and you're going to go like five times between now and then, right? Oh, he will yeah, be I down 19500 19500 I was just doing my flights before I left. I'm going there six times in the next three like months. Six? You six say. times. Can, can we get this? But I need the above. Like, I need to be able to see. Yeah. Also, we've watched videos of this. I know. I know. But I, I'm requesting this because I need to see them. Pause it. Pause it. Look how fucking thick that red oh guy is. Oh, my God. I want to take him and just. Yeah. Shake him out. No, not even shake. Just. just yeah. Until he pops. I picture his little hooves just flying off. <laughs> just little tubes hanging out the bottom of his fucking balloon body. Squeezing him for all he's worth. Look how cute that boy is on the left. Yeah, he really Innocent. Does. Don't mind me. One. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't. Don't. Don't you fucking. What? Don't you underestimate the love you're going to develop for the, the little yellow guy. Well, this like, is, They don't have these. At the encore, apparently, because I went, I walked around the whole. Th- well, we don't have to do this again. <laughs> We're gonna do another forty minutes on slot machines, dude. They've look, done this look. six times. In okay, the past okay, six okay, months. okay. Just go to a different casino and find them. Okay, find the boys. Yeah, I will. You know, fuck it. Find the girls. I will. Find the girls. As long as you play the horse races next Easy. time you're there. Are you kidding? Steve is in Vegas again. My whole net worth. Oh yeah. Why is? Does he go often? Bro, that man. Really. That man's probably more connected in Vegas than you are now. Really? Yeah. He's, he's like, a whale or what? He's just figured out the system. Do you remember that one tweet that we we might have read together? It's honestly... Yeah, we the, were holding hands? What? Yeah. It was me and that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was... Um, it honestly, genuinely was the most interesting tweet I've ever read in my entire life because it's something I've always wondered my whole life is like if you tracked every single bet you made mm. and all the money that you rinse through Vegas machines. Oh yeah, you're negative. Like how does it No, but and then and then compare that to the comps you get. Yeah. How much value are you actually generating and how much if any how much money if any are you are you losing They're, or or gaining? And this guy like after he he did that, he kept a spreadsheet of every like he was a high limit slots player for some reason. He loved that. Which uh, for for good reason. I know exactly what reason. <laughs> but for some reason, he would track every single time he put money in the machine. He would track on a spreadsheet how much he put in and how much he won. And then the comps that he would get. Because he was a whale. He'd get to Vegas and yeah. they'd set him up with cars, rooms, restaurants, comps, meals, whatever he wanted. And I think at the end of like five to ten years, he had he had rinsed like, you know, something like a million bucks or something like that. He'd put through, through machines. Yeah. And... He like at the at the end of it, the total amount of comps and the total amount of money he walked away from it was like eight hundred k or something. So after like five to ten years, the two hundred k that he had yeah. spent on trips yeah. would was basically like what he would have spent on that those rooms and stuff, anyways. Yeah. No. I mean, I mean, like he was definitely down, but like not as much as you would think. Yes. Did we not go over this together? I managed to maintain my VIP status to today. I think this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big old thread. Yeah, it's it's like the story we told with the lady putting in the like, the thousand and then winning the thousand. Yeah, back. yeah, exactly. But it's about the experience. So go down to the final but numbers. His is less so. He's he's got six hundred. So I lost thirty four thousand dollars gambling, but I gained sixty thousand dollars in free sweets, food and beverage, and limo rides. Now is this a win? Not really. So he actually did, like. In the comps, he yes. ended up 30K over yes. what he spent. Yes. I was just listening to this podcast where they were talking about this like tax loophole that one of those dudes found. <laughs> Sick. Which is like a movie. There's a movie tax. Do you know this? Mm-mm. You can write off the, bud- or the budget of a film. If you invest in a movie, you can basically write off the budget and, and save yourself that much money in taxes. Because Obama made it some law where like to like encourage the production of like art and culture. Isn't that crazy? Let's make a movie. Yeah. But I kind of feel like with all these like loopholes, dudes like end up doing them. Camera, camera. Yo, let's make a movie. Yeah, we should, dude. We're definitely going to make a movie. Yeah. Yeah. 
Make a movie. But people people like Ew. save a lot on taxes with this. Ew, show. Ryan. <laughs> That was gross. Guys, <laughs> let's make a movie. Ew, Ew. dude. Uh, just like kissing in it. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. Yeah. Ryan's like, we let's can make, make a rom com <laughs> with us. JK. You see all that shit about Glenn Powell and Sidney Sweeney? Yeah. You think they. What? What about them? They're definitely fucking. You think they smushed? For sure. I thought it was all just a purposeful thing. Like it probably is just a PR yeah. thing, but I'm a sucker for that. And then the girlfriend unfollowing. That's pretty good, too. They got you all wrapped up, dude. Look I know. You. A month later, you're still thinking about this drama. I'm definitely going to... Was it a month ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't. It's, really? This comes out. Oh, my God. It's been a month, man. And you're still wrapped up in this Stupid. drama. Stupid. Yeah, it's, dude. I still... I saw the fucking movie. And even after that, <laughs> I saw it twice. Cody watched the whole movie and he goes, I think they smushed. <laughs> I think they're fucking... <laughs> I think they smushed, man. They very there's like a sex scene in the movie. Yeah, I think that that actually happened. But bro, back to slots. Um, <laughs> do you have a player's card? Groans from everyone in the room. Do you have a player's card? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. There's nothing sadder. Oh, fever. Ow, yeah. Fever. There's nothing sadder than like sliding the card in and then getting mad at the machine when it's not taking your. <laughs> Like you put it in, it's like blinking red. You're like, I'm a, I'm a fucking member. <laughs> Take it. Green. Yeah. yeah. Honey, checkbook, That please. is pretty funny, getting mad at the machine because it won't take the yeah. money. Yeah. Take it. Won't, Bankrupt me. won't fucking. It's like telling you, like, dude, you don't need this. Yeah. Please walk away. Take the money. And then, it's not wrinkled. Yeah. Take it. I, Your you wife know. is going to be pissed at you. <laughs> you know that I think the biggest scam is? This is my new conspiracy after a month of thinking about it. I think you have to play high roll, like high limit. You have to play high limit. Okay. You hear what I'm saying, folks? You have to play we high limit. We had this exact conversation. No, but this is different. A month ago. This is different. <laughs> and for this us, is different. This feels like yesterday. <laughs> yeah, this is different. Like, I know it feels like, like yesterday. yesterday. But you, you, have to, you have to play high limit. You know why? Why? That's the only way you beat the system. Yeah. So I'm sorry, weren't you... Down three six nineteen thousand five five hundred times five. <laughs> no, I left down three hundred sixty seven dollars. But you know why? It's because I didn't play high limit. Yeah, what? <laughs> you did. No, 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 that's not high limit. High limit is ten dollars spins. Oh, and you did what five? I did six. <laughs> did I tell you Sam went and played poker when we were there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sat in the fucking poker room. Do you do you make out all right? Yeah, I mean you. I think he came up like a hundred, couple hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. But everyone in there is just watching movies on their phone. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, and Mike Dean just walked by, sat down and played a couple hands and then left. Like, that's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Why don't we go through some media? Yeah. Can you pull up that guy, um, massive jackpot at Laughlin <laughs> Casino Tournament? Train wrecks, uh, kick stream. <laughs> <laughs> Train wrecks, stake win three million dollars. Children, uh, children encouraged. <laughs> He's down over one hundred k. That man is nineteen thousand. That boy ain't down at all. Yeah, man. didn't he make a hundred million bucks? Or that something boy like that? is rich, dude. <laughs> he said that on one of the things, and now he own. Doesn't he own kick too? Yes, he started kick. Or part owner, yeah. Crazy. Anyway, Disneyland Dragon catches on fire. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, no. The Fantasmic Dragon caught on fire. <laughs> Burned this Fantasmic? whole fucking thing down. That's kind of sick, actually. You know what? I need people to riot and um, uh, go crazy at Disneyland and find Walt Disney's body. <laughs> I know it's fucking in there. We need to find it. Can you imagine, dude? A big ass riot, just a, co a coalition of people being like, we know he's in there. We know Walt is in there. And then. He's frozen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? It's like a news story of just frozen Walt Disney and even being rolled yeah, out on a. Just a big crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're wheeling him out on one of those fucking. 
The coalition of, of Find Walt has discovered you know, him. They used to like, pa- like roll oh, yeah, packages. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For- uh, yeah. What's that called? What is that thing called? To move heavy shit? Yeah. A dolly? A dolly. dolly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I used to picture him crowd surfing. It falls off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> His fucking body just falls off. He's like, <laughs> wakes up. The family Holy Walt, fuck. The family of Walt Disney is massively concerned. <laughs> and Walt Disney's like, oh, everyone's not white. <laughs> <laughs> JK. Is that him? No. Oh frick. Dude, his I mean, if you were cryogenically frozen, would your head get inflate? Would it inflate? Like would you if you're submerged and held in ice like in a stasis, wouldn't would your body just like well up? I I don't I have no idea. You're a doctor, dude. Come on. Yeah, that's true. I feel like you'd get freezer burn. Yeah. Like, you know when you take out, like, old, like, <laughs> yeah. really old ice cream? Yeah. It's got all those, you know? You're like, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're like, I'm not sure if I should eat this. Yeah. Damn, dude. They unfreeze him, and he's just had frostbite the whole time. None <laughs> yeah, of his yeah. fucking hands and feet work. He just... <laughs> yeah, what is this? That shit amputated. <laughs> what is this? Walt, we have everything <laughs> but your hands and feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got everything from the knees up. Minus like, the hands. Do you think he's like s- s- dreaming? Like he's technically alive, right? He's not. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. But they froze. No, that's a myth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cody <laughs> falling for it again. Really? Cody's like they don't. Come on. What about Austin Powers? I mean, this whole thing is a conspiracy. So it's just yeah, it's a conspiracy. Who knows, maybe I don't know. Yeah. But people are cryogenically frozen, right? I don't know. Cody's like, hold on. I got a notification. My spy pants just came in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Cody realizing he's going to die sometime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I was planning on doing it. People can freeze themselves, right? Yeah. No, but I actually thought, damn, that's a myth? As of 2014, about 250 corpses have been cryogenically preserved in the U.S. Corpses have been preserved. So they're dead, but <laughs> they're just preserving, preserving like the brain material yeah. just in case they can bring it yeah. back to life. Yeah. That's they're dead, <laughs> but they couldn't do that when Walt died. Yeah, but I think there, I think there's a real possibility that you could reanimate, re, like you could like basically export the data from someone's brain eventually and load it into like an AI or something. Yeah, but it wouldn't be like the same consciousness. It'd be something else based on yeah. the memories. <sighs> Fuck. You're dead. Really? What? <sighs> What oh dude, what if we're what if that's the AI? We're all just the AI memories of, of people we once were. Yeah. Yeah. Dumb. Dumb. Fuck, dude. I'm saying though. I'm sorry. I should not have taken those shrooms. Yeah, I'm saying though. Two hundred frozen heads and bodies await revival at this Arizona cryonics facility. Just a fucking necrophiliac in there, just licking the ice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just going crazy, <laughs> dragging his tongue all over that shit. <laughs> let me at it. Let me at it. Some employee comes in late. <laughs> he's just sitting butt naked on one of the ice blocks. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Cold plunge. Damn. <laughs> butt ass naked. <laughs> knees <Sitting> open. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, <laughs> nothing, nothing. Nothing. Just cooling off. <laughs> Just chilling. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yo, uh, you know what I want them to do? I want them to cryogenically freeze me and just throw my shit off the top of a building. <laughs> <laughs> so you break into a yeah, thousand just, yeah. million pieces. <laughs> nah, dude, I want it to hit and the ice magically shatters all around me, but, but my body's fine. <laughs> it's, just like, ksh, it's just me that I just... <laughs> It's my corpse just collapsing <laughs> in the street. Actually, yeah, that would be a good, like, alt cremation. Yeah, like, you just shatter? Yeah. Yeah. Freeze shit. How do you want to... Uh, yeah. What, what Buried or gonna... cremation? I'd rather shatter, Yeah. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah fucking freeze me and then set me up in front of, like, a turret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> Bro, it's like a six-month process. It's like, oh, what are you going to do with, with Noel's body? He requested a shattering. 
Yeah, he wanted Dude Perfect to throw him off a fucking dam. Oh. Okay. The spin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just be frozen in. <laughs> When you thaw out, are you just chunks of meat after shattering? <sighs> no, you'd be you'd be like the pieces of the sh- like if you were frozen, you'd just shatter, right? Yeah, but it's like you're in a frozen state, so once it heats up, you might just be little giblets. <laughs> oh, like oh, I yeah. see. Yeah, no, because then when that happens, can't like pigs like digest anything? Goats. You just let some farm animals go, and they just eat the you know eat the remnants. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let a bunch of goats come through and clean it up. Can we get a video of an eagle dragging a goat down the side of a mountain? <laughs> I've always loved that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not on the you seen, that. seen that, dude? I didn't thought I thought you were joking. No, dude. Eagle yeah, goat that. side of mountain. <laughs> dude, it's insane. This Oh, Aww, don't show the, don't show Bambi. Goat? Don't show Bambi, bro. Is it a baby goat? No. Bro, they're making this goat look dumb as hell right now. Oh, I love that there's no dialogue either. Yeah. Here we have the American Phoenix Eagle. It's hungry. And it sees lunch. It chases a flock of goats down the side of a mountain. The goats are aware of their prey of their predator. They flee. I mean, how would you even eat a goat if you were an eagle? Well, you'll see how. Ah, <laughs> no way. The one I was thinking of, it wasn't like a baby. Yeah, this shit is crazy. Oh, and then it does this repeatedly. Like it just. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Dude, that went from... Pause it for a second. That went from the goat just being like, get the fuck off me. Yeah. What are you doing? To yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> so quickly. Just fucking get get off me. Fucking Dude, what leave it. <laughs> what do you think you're... Ah! Damn. Yeah. The poor guy. And then he does it again? Yeah, some there was one video I saw where they do it like repeatedly. So you, yeah. So you were wondering how an eagle would eat a goat, and um, so they just throw it off a cliff. Yeah, and the eagle will eat the goat just however long it takes because the goat can't run anywhere anymore. Bruh. Oh my god. It's still it's still alive. This is in slow motion, by the way. Where are you bringing me? Where are you bringing me? Let me down. That's one way to go, man. It's not when dead. When you're, when you're 80 years old, <laughs> you're just like old and feeble. Get an eagle to drag me down the side of a mountain. <laughs> you dress up in a goat suit? Yeah. <laughs> That mountain <laughs> splatters your head on the side of a mountain. You're just standing there on the side of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> just Damn, waiting. that's like some midsummer ass death. <laughs> yeah. I gotta write a film into that. Or write that into a film where it's just like they tie up some person and they put the fucking goat shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> and now we watch us so the eagle. Funny. An old dude in a stupid like Halloween goat costume. <laughs> yes, we <yeah. laughs> Just waiting for the sweet release <laughs> Spirit of Spirit Halloween shit. Yeah. <laughs> Take me! <laughs> Take me! <clears throat> yeah, man. Anyways, What's up with this phallic plant? What's up with this <laughs> massive... Go to like Sexual that. Thirst Trap Instagram, chef. It's just fucking Owen Hawk. Seems redundant, yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy. Yeah, I've seen uh, it. Just filth. Why? Don't let my husband know I'm watching this. Yeah. <sighs> Would be now see now see that's fucking gross. What I want to see in one of these, man. 
I want to see someone thirst trapping some food in the middle of it. They just slam their fucking titty right in the food. Just fucking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put a, put a fucking ball sack out. Yeah, why didn't he fuck? Why didn't he actually fuck yeah. that thing? Yeah, you're going to do all this other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the grapefruit. <laughs> I want to see a horny ass couple just fucking that food. Go all the way. Yeah, you know, stop censoring it. If you're gonna f- finger, a <laughs> I know, you're fucking a- melon. Yeah, dude, pour your cereal into a flashlight and eat that shit. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Let's play it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's so gross. Yeah. <laughs> What do the comments say? Telling my husband that I like this. Break me. Should I just like unfollow for my well-being? I identify as a coconut. He would be the reason I'll agree to eat anything. Who are, who are these people, man? I always want to know if he's going. Don't stop. Keep going. You don't want him to click keep that profile. Dude. Fingering the melon. Keep going. Don't stop. I always expect these people to be married. How are wait, wait, oh my god. How are you at the same time so sweet and polite and such a destructive tasty devil? <laughs> my, heart my heart can't, can't take, take you, you, but the rest of me wants to. Who is this, man? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. Wait, what verbiage did she use there? Again, destructive tasty devil. Yeah, I've never had someone. Man, you can't read describe shit like me that and like in a, as cool of a way as that. Yeah, yeah. No, we're just jealous. Like yeah. we're just jealous. No one talks about us this way, but I don't think it's even healthy to read shit like that all the time. You can't. You can't be told these things. I don't have. Okay, go up. I don't have legs. I have two coconuts. Please spread them. Nice. Mrs. Meadows. <laughs> <laughs> Your level of loneliness. <laughs> destructive tasty devil. <laughs> no li- yeah, destructive tasty devil is crazy. He's not going to see that. <laughs> oh, you're you're out of here if you don't think he's reading every single <laughs> you th- one. You of think these. so? Yeah, man, come yeah, on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He he's doing it for our attention. So. Come on, man. Yeah. You know what's funny is he's reading those ones. It's like, be my boyfriend. He's like, <clears throat> say something horny. I don't want fucking, <laughs> I don't want commitment. <laughs> what? You look like Ryan. Ryan's alt. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's me. Right. right, right. Yeah. yeah, Ryan, that's definitely what you look like, right? Let's watch another one. <laughs> so, yeah, which one, bro? <laughs> First of all, that That's move so gross. That move, the like the yeah, yeah. the windshield wiper. Yeah. I've only ever seen that in porn. Yes, yeah, same. <laughs> like like that's the only you only ever see that in the squirting videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you also have to be at that angle yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? dude, well, yeah. you can't do that from like the normal where you're like making out. <laughs> you got to be in front of it, or like be <laughs> right here, yeah, yeah. like just. <laughs> I mean, if you're committed, you could. <laughs> yeah. From no, no, no. But you're. It's it's so distinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And being up <laughs> yeah, and yeah, forward. Yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, play it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Dude, he was just being such a destructive tasty devil. <laughs> all right, all right. Holy shit, Ready? dude. Right. <laughs> Wait, what was the what was the shirtless one too? That was after. That's when you're smoking the cigarette. <laughs> and you're like, damn, this pumpkin pie.
had to take a sip. That shit made me so thirsty. <laughs> what a fucking destructive, tasty Holy devil, dude. Fuck. Man, I can't wait for this to happen to stand up. <laughs> Motherfuckers do a stand up in banana hammocks, just ripped as hell, <laughs> licking microphones and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Microphone shaped just like it's got a slit down the middle. <laughs> On your microphone he's just telling jokes like slapping the fucking... yeah what is this now yeah watch wait that's just a still image craft beer guys going crazy man oh it's a thumbnail yeah do that one <laughs> of him licking that beer <laughs> <laughs> these are insane man <laughs> dude just the, the smacking yeah he's beating his meat come on Holy shit! Just man, horny like middle-aged women. Just, just. Damn, I wish I was a piece of wagyu right now. I wish I was a pound of brisket right now. I say women, but really, it could be anybody watching this. It's pretty targeted at women. You think? Yeah, he yeah, could have yeah. jerked off that carrot. That's but true. He did yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, cucumber, man. See what he does with it. <laughs> Yo, in the middle of he just sits on that cucumber. <laughs> oh, pulls it, pulls it out and just cutting it. <laughs> he smells it. There's <laughs> 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 a real quick cut of him shirtless lowering himself <laughs> onto it. <laughs> Dude, these are targeted at women. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just listening, um, basically what he's doing is he's making a, like a pork bow bun, and then he repeatedly keeps touching it like it's labia. Yeah, it does look good. I mean, he, all the shit that he's making. That, yep. And then he, and then he ate keeps, out uh, the yeah, sauce. Yeah, yeah. He keeps going down and just taking full tongue licks. Yeah. Of the stuff that he's making. Like he just tongue fucked the foam on top of a beer. Yep. <laughs> Damn. I'm just jealous because I wish content was this easy for me. I wonder how he individually like found this. You should make one of those cuts with like, I don't know, our version of that. People would be like, it's not funny. Don't ever do this again. Yeah, yeah. That would be disturbing. Yeah. They'd be like, your um, sex appeal is zero, and your presence in this media is fucking revolting. And also, the food looks like it sucks yeah. ass. <laughs> Never attempt to sexualize anything again. You are disgusting it's and like awful to look at. <laughs> just microwaving a Pop-Tart? <laughs> nah, dude. Just lick a, f we just nah, lick a fork and stick it in. <laughs> toaster strudel. Dude, toaster strudel. And we just make that thing bust all over the strudel. <laughs> <laughs> just dribbling it out. <laughs> this boy has kids? No shot he promoted his kid. Man. No way, really? What does it say? Wow. Oh. Oh, that's him. Him and his mom. Oh. I'm like, that's crazy in the middle of like licking videos. You're this like, looks like, before he you're like by the way, here's my family. This was the first sexy one? Oh. <laughs> Click it. Yeah, come on now. Totally normal. <laughs> No, hey, it's just him and all his friends just slapping me. <laughs> like, yeah, we had to tone it down. <laughs> yeah, so like 0% horny. Oh. Oh. Well, that's how this happens. Yeah. Yo, what is the fucking Jizzy Cinnabon? Yeah, what, what is this? So that was his first move. So, and then I bet you he, like every single time he did that, he'd get comments being like, oh my God, the water spit, yeah. the water spit. And yeah. so he's like, oh, okay. Well, people, people seem to like this. Yeah. And now and he's just, just got progressively more and more naked fucking the meat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just humping raw cow. Yeah, let's watch his newest one. Yeah. He's just wrapping brisk around his dick and yeah. jerking yeah. off with it. <laughs> You want to know something special about this plant? <laughs> yeah, bro. The horny chef. 
Man, what do you think the what do you think the turn time is on one of these to shoot it? The turn time? Yeah, like start to finish, set up, lighting. A couple hours probably. Probably taking you four or five hours, I think. But yeah. Baking also takes a really long time sometimes. Yeah. Let's not discredit this guy's hustle, you know. The videos are I mean, the the shit he's making look delicious. <clears throat> he and he and he, he must to, be a dessert chef somewhere. Nice. There's actually a genius way to leverage your pastry degree. Because yeah. you're not making shit from a restaurant. Yeah. You know. He pr- he probably started, dude, nice. Cooking has never He's been. He's really hard. leaned into this. I mean, bro, you got to figure he got into this and he had a genuine passion. And he's like, I love pastry. I mean, I don't, I'm not, I'm not necessarily against it. Oh, no, I'm, it's I'm not. It's just either. a little bit obvious. There's a, there's a, I mean, there's a really weird like crossover bet- between horny, horny content and cooking content. Yeah. Like every chef does this. Yeah. <laughs> they do it for comments. Like they will like finger a brisket yeah. and slap. And, you know, they all do it. But this guy I could see doing, like, a cookbook where it's, like, half pastry recipes, yeah. half, like, a horny calendar. Yeah. That would fucking sell, like, crazy. Josh Weissman, man. What are you waiting for? Yeah. Give us the nude cookbook, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> What's up, sweet cheeks? It's so crazy, too, to have this. And then maybe he's just walking down the street and... What does that shit say? Eat her out. Eat her out. All right. <laughs> That's not even cooking related. That's just horny. This this dude, uh, real men make you nut first. He probably has like the Prince effect on some people, like he like because his brand is so horny and sexualized. <clears throat> uh, see. <clears throat> imagine he just walks into a coffee shop and he just sees a stranger wearing that hoodie. He just walks up to him. He's like, "I like that hoodie." <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just rolls out. Yeah. Later. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> well that was that was fun yeah good ex- good deep dive mm-hmm. for lack of a better phrase nice man massive earwax removal I like these videos what the heck? honestly I think I watched this would you do this yeah yeah um if you're listening oh a spider just came out of a dude's ear <laughs> No way. Oh, fuck me, dude. Fuck. Oh, Cash hates spiders. <laughs> Cash hates spiders. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, and the crazy thing about that is that that spider probably laid eggs in his brain. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that. No. Yeah. So he's going to have little baby spiders crawling around inside of his skull. In his raw brain. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> Kill me. Yeah. New fear unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> my soul left my body. <laughs> yeah, everyone's heard of mouth taping. Tape your ears, too. <laughs> <laughs> what is that mouth tape? Uh, basically, it's... Can you breathe out your nose? Yeah. Does it work? People swear it does. I have a deviated septum, so... It's harder for me. Oh, my God. Are you tired or something, you pussy? A little bit. <laughs> you little bee dick? You little you tired? I'm a wee bit tired. Yeah? How are you feeling? feeling? I feel all right, man. I'm kind of delusional. It's hard to podcast when you're this sick. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Oh, my God. Whatever. My, I have chickens. Nice. Did and you they inherit these? Eggs. Did you what? buy them or you inherited them? Inherited them. Nice. But they just laid eggs. Don't they do that every day? No, they don't. They haven't been doing it because of the rain or something. It like shot like the cold weather like shocked them out of. The, That's so the, sick, dude! And you're just gonna eat their kids? <clears throat> oh yeah, in front of them. Yeah, I'm gonna scramble that shit and go down and eat it right in front of them. <laughs> dude, I was, mm. I was I was crying laughing. It's so dumb. There's this meme. It was like one of those like it'd be your own, and it was a bunch of chickens <laughs> eating a rotisserie chicken. Keep yeah, going. it was just a video. It was like it'd be your own. And okay, it's just a bunch of chickens eating a rotisserie <laughs> chicken, just pecking at it. It's <laughs> really good. Yeah, it's so funny. That's really good. Has anyone else heard of <laughs> leaving, leaving an example, an example lobster? When, <laughs> what does that mean? My parents claim that plenty of people do it, and they learned it 
from their own parents, but it's a ridiculous and horrifying process. For those who haven't heard of it, it's when you buy lobsters to cook by boiling them alive, and you leave only one alive. My family always set the lobster in front of all the cooked lobsters and made it watch as we ate all the other lobsters. <laughs> After that, we put the lobster in the cooler and drive it back to the beach and send it back to the ocean. The joke is that the lobsters was to the other lobsters of the horrors it saw. Yeah, this is no, complete- this this post was made for us. Yeah. Like it was made for us to read on this show. Yeah. There's no fucking way that's real. Yeah. Well, an example lobster. <laughs> yeah, dude, this I'm going to make an example. This is our uh you. this is our family in the future. This is us as a gay <laughs> yeah. couple. With our adopted children, <laughs> our kids going to our kid is going to rip a lobster in half, and we're like, ah, 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 that's the example lobster. What are you doing? What do we tell you? You put that lucky guy down. We licked and spit. The ones we're gonna eat, <laughs> yeah, yeah. are in this bin. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? That's yeah. the example lobster. <laughs> <laughs> that's the example lobster. <laughs> Smacking it around. Dang. <laughs> Dang. That's really fucked up. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you, um, would you um if you could, would you trade places with horny <laughs> horny chef guy? Uh no. Would you? No. <laughs> but right, some well, but good. sometimes I do I do envy that workflow where it's just very like you just know what you're gonna do. Yeah, but it's it's um it's like anything. It's gonna get old. A hundred percent. I and bet, then he's going to have to figure out a new shtick. I bet he hates eating that shit out. <laughs> yeah, probably already. He's like, I don't want to do the this scene yeah. anymore. It's his version of the button. Yeah, exactly. Although yeah. I'm still rocking that. The first few times he did it, it was like a, it was a meme with his boys. He's like, I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah. And he selfies him. Like, and they're like, dude, you're fucking corny. Yeah, dude. he's screenshotting the comments and sending them to his boys. Like, look at how horny I'm making these ladies. And then... They're like, do you got to double down on that shit? And then on video 50, he's, yeah, it just, I want to eat this. I don't yeah. want to fucking finger this cake. Yeah. He's got an OnlyFans where he's just fingering fruits. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. There's, a, there's like a lady artist who did that. Or oh, I feel like everyone bit her flow. She had an OnlyFans? No, she had an Instagram a while ago. It was when we were doing steamy tweets. Oh, yeah. Okay. And it, it was her creating sexual content with food. Oh. And she was trying to break through <coughs> or, or, or sort of point out, like, how do we define what sexuality is? Mm. You know, some smart shit. And then this guy came along and he's like, you're doing it all wrong. You got to make T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the eat her out. Eat her out. <laughs> all right, folks. That's it for today's bonus episode. Uh, yeah. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us, because it is our birthday. It's our birthday. Thank you so much for watching. Congratulations. It's literally one of your employees' birthdays today. No, this came no, this out comes out in a month, later, dude. So it's not his. So it's not anymore, and it's only ever our birthday. Now, happy belated birthday, Brandon. I hope you had an amazing day a month ago, and we love you. He's going to Vegas this weekend. And have fun in Vegas. Hey, man, at the very end of a two-hour recording, we just want to say happy birthday. (laughs) When the retention is absolutely falling off a fucking cliff, we just want to say, man, happy fucking birthday. Cut that out. (laughs) (laughs) 